go to the camp fund thing first. Where is that even? Uh, let's let's go to the balcony. Balcony first. Let's see what Dutch is up to. What do you need to speak to me to for so urgently? Oh, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. Hey, Jose, how, how you doing, my man? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Jose. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the mm. fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're mm. doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave yep. this country? Yep. We need that money. It just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. Sure doesn't. It's this way is too... the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Farmers. The American dream, we dude. We need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur. What do you guys think? If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between oh, us I don't get and to our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You no. better be right about this no. one. I am. Death flag. I've heard Instant before, freaking death flag, usually dudes. Usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go Somebody, see man Somebody's gonna him. die. Somebody's gonna die. I know it. One of us three is going to die. I'm calling it right now. Darling. Arthur needs to shave. Yeah. Well, I like this beard. I like his beard. I wish I could grow a beard like that, but I'm stuck with this. Can we just get this done? Only one? Oh, man. Is that a huge... I'm at least one. Let's call Thomas, it... Who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. Oh, he is this a preliminary quest first? Station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. This don't See, feel good. I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Mm, yeah, I guess. But you're okay, losing it. Follow me. I don't feel good about this at all. I kind of hope this is a preliminary quest. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't he never took side. his side. Feels like Jose has lost his Fuck spine. That. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that hmm. bank. And Bronte scared. has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in I'm his scared. back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all mm. seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes fair. to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all also due fair. Respect, Dutch, but still. Is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but mm. but, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. I don't not. want to do that. This isn't a it's just... Camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together... Do you guys agree with Dutch or not? Or are you just like me, just really reality, uncomfortable right now? we do nothing 
they get everything. I know. You're right. That she's going to die. Like he might. At least one of us three is I mean, going to die. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Found us. Anyway, here we are. They're going to give us like a Let shock and the then talking. the story is going to go fuck all. Upside down. And then we have two more chapters, which is going to... Thomas. I, I don't trust you, this, man. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the It's so funny. I actually greet like that too. To like I actually greet like this. The other night we had quite in real life. the adventure <laughs> fishing for catfish. Now my friend. Wait, I'm gonna be coming, Arthur. The only difference is I don't smoke and I don't Can have I a call beard. In that favor? <laughs> what do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. Nice. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Of course. Sure. Why not? Way. Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Wait, we're just doing some... Are we actually gonna you do it right me. now? Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, mm. Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, surely. Absolutely, but if I'm, if uh, anybody's gonna die you. from Get that, I'm gonna be pissed. Comes to I want him to go out in a cool way. A big mouth, Dutch. Arthur mm -hmm. here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. Hmm. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. It's an eerie you atmosphere. This ground, it feels like water to me. Hmm. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Hmm. Yeah, I can see them. His friend's gonna be dead on the skiff. Hmm. I'm not sure Mr. about Dutch, that. You keep a lookout for company. Mr. Off. Check the traps with me. What's that over there? Nothing. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't wanna know what just touched my leg. This <laughs> You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Mm. Ooh, fireflies. Now stay close. Make sure you follow There's my There's a gator line. right there. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. I have a shotgun. You can see why eating in swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? <laughs> I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. I don't like that. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wider than the animals they are. What about this well, trap? This gets better and we need to check this one. I don't like this, man. There's so many gators. These people are fucking crazy, dude. Who would do this? Who in their right mind Whoa. Stop where you, are. would do this? You don't Just say it's a gator. Looks like a lock to me. It reminds me of the little comic that says it's, it has like two sheep sitting right, by a riverbank. And then one of the sheep thinks it's a lock, one of the sheep thinks it's a gator. The guy that thinks it's a gator gets chop eaten then the one that thought it was a log obviously changes his mind it's a gator and the next sheep comes up it's a log endless cycle pretty interesting comic the hand it was dark this trap is stuck in the mud <laughs> I don't like this scenario at one bit. Oh well. Let's get it. Let's get this over with. 
What should be a dead body or something? Ooh. Ooh, well that got broken. Guess something didn't want to be caught. <laughs> My gosh. So it's true. What's what true? It? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. Big old bull. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. <laughs> Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. Neither do I. I, I suppose this could wait. Let's go. Yeah, what? We have a job to do, man. Can we do that, please? We're on a house call with Angelo Bronte. Hold up. Oh man, are we gonna be stuck on this little sandbank? Look out! My God, there's no shortage of them. No. Eden, us or them? Exactly. Huh. Come on. This guy's way too fearless. Are you serious, man? Why don't they attack us, though? We are well within really vicinity. By now. Just enjoy the sh stroll. So we can yeah. both sides. Yeah. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Find jewels? Are you okay? He's dead. I'm just gonna beeline for him. Yes, yeah, a nice little stroll, ain't it? The swamps. I can't think of a horror story right now. But the ambiance is definitely there. <laughs> Jules! He's gonna be dead, ain't he? Hanging from a tree, or just he drops down from a tree like that, and he's just like, wah! <laughs> I can see him in the, in the tree up there. Oh no. Gator galore. Hey! Someone there? Up here! Yeah, I can see that him. That must be him. Swamp thing. Swamp thing? Oh man, yeah. I, I was thinking about the, uh, the, um, the DC swamp the thing. Tree. Yeah, I can see it. Back in June. Somebody's gonna lose an arm. Why are you up in the tree, man? Yeah, yeah. Right here. What's up, dude? Hey, you in the tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A, a monster? monster? You okay up there? Somebody's gonna There's die. I think it's this guy. Where? Master, they nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's, it's out there. There's what? a boat on a thing a here. Big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Uh -oh. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jews. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. Get into the... I... Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, where'd this monster swim off to? I think... <laughs> it's stuck. Scott! Why do I keep saying the same things? <laughs> oh, why the fuck did that scare me? Got loose. Go. I'm tense. Come on. All right, let's get back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Because I know shit will happen. Yeah, it's like the uh, the build-up is there. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Question Two is when, yeah. Of mine. I'll explain later. Jules, no, I think it's not gonna happen right now, or maybe like in a little a little encounter. Then during the main quest, it's just gonna go ham. 
What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I don't think we did. You don't need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This hmm. is a bad idea. Oh, what else would you want to do? You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here, but the gun's loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. There we go. Jules? Bye bye. Shit. He won't kill. No, no, you don't say. No, no, we can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. I will? What? Okay. Hurry, Arthur. He's right there. Alright, let's mud through the mud. It didn't bite through though. Dude, I saw two gators in like a, um, a zoo, right? The one, they, they were fed. And... The other gator thought it was the, the food. And he just... Hang on. Where'd he go? Where did he go? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Hi, Julio. I got you. I got you. I got you, Sim. Oh, it actually got his leg. Oh, no. God, no. That's bad. Shoot something. I won't. So, the other gator tried to grab the food or whatever they were fed, right? And he grabbed another gator's leg and just twisted it off right there. Like that. And the, um, the other gator was just like, bro, what the fuck? He just didn't care at all. He was like, wait, did you, wait, did you just eat my leg? Come here. Hang in there, Jules. But apparently, come on, come on, quick, do, do gators feel pain? That's the question I'm asking. <laughs> oh man, he's bleeding bad. But you could have lost it entirely. Although you're probably gonna get amputated, regardless. Grab the shotgun, sweet. Finish that sucker. All right. Was a big gator. Doesn't look too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. A little freaking bandage. Be okay, son. Gonna be okay. Oh man. Just thank your old uncle Dutch. Blood is pouring out of his. Like, obviously it is. But... There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the blade. I think he died out of think shock. Be okay, if he don't get a fever. Is he dead? No. We can is bring he? down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God oh, no. damn it! Pull every bullet you got at him. Yankers! Yankers! He's under the water. Coming right for us. Get the shotgun out. That gator is fucking big, man. Okay. Was that him? I think it's had enough. He's got a fuckload of warning shots in there. Jesus. Can we get back now? Please. I got a hole in my hat. Who did that? You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and mad. That's unusual. 
Normally the little ones are angry. <laughs> Big ones is lazy. Well, you I know when the guy misses an eye like that, you know that shit's gonna go down. Me you, are. <laughs> you know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. Can we get some help? <laughs> Jules has been bitten. Oh my god. There's a monster out here. <laughs> he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. <laughs> Feed him garlic for the infection. Garlic for the Thank infection? You. Both of really? you. Really? I'm at your service anytime you need. Me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. What's with I'll O'Shea? I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? Yes. Right there. Bad man. We know. Kill some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well. If the quest continues right away, I will finish it, else I gotta go. <laughs> it's actually gonna go. Okay. Well, in that case, we are gonna leave the conclusion, or what I believe to be the conclusion, to chapter 4 in a big old grand quest or mission for tomorrow. Guys! Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the very generous follows, hosts, and pities. You guys are absolutely crazy today. Thank you so much. But most importantly, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me, me be your entertainment for today. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. If I don't see you tomorrow, I hope to see you later. But until then, have a great day. And I hope to see you tomorrow for more Red Dead 2. Guys, have a great day. See you later. Ciao, ciao.